Hey guys, it's Vintage Vinny, and I'm taking you all to Boonesboro Antiques in Boonesboro, Maryland. Let's check it out. Alright, so it looks like I'll be alright over here. Some fun stuff to look at. I love this bank. By the way, this booth is 30% off. And they got $18 on that. That is not focused. There we go. This is really cool. Souvenir of New York. Look at all that. What do they got on that? They only got $10 on that and 30% off. I don't normally go for souvenir stuff, but sometimes you just never know. Here's a piece of treasure craft for Hawaii, twelve fifty and thirty percent. Here's a nice bucket for ten. Just a bunch of really neat stuff. And it looks like we have some Harker Hoosier spice jars, salt, pepper, and flour. They got twenty four on those and thirty percent. If you're looking for these, that's a really good price. So this is really nice. I may need a little bit of cleaning up. It's six fifty and thirty percent. It's made in Japan, and I totally am holding that backwards. There we go. That's really nice. I'll hold on to that and consider it. So this booth is fifteen percent off. I spotted these. These little thin glass fawns. $35. I can't look anything up in here. The cell reception is absolutely terrible. Alright, so this is a totally new booth. I recognize the dealer, but I, I guess they did some rearranging. Let's see what they got. What initially drew me to this booth was all the glass in the window here. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So guys, the closer I get to the music, I'm probably going to have to put in some background music. Look at that piece of Empoli right there. Love the blue. Alrighty, so I spotted some things in here I thought you guys might like to see. These I thought were really interesting. The paint's really worn on them. Uh, he has $10 for the pair, but they're heavy duty. So those are neat. And then we've got a really nice hobnail. It looks like sugar bowls. What do they have it marked as? Sorry. Benton hobnail jelly server. Okay, 30 bucks. I don't think that that's terrible if you don't want to pay the shipping for it. I'll move over here. We've got some, we've got this really awesome syrup dispenser. Um, he's got 17 on that. And then we have this. I've been looking for one of these for a really good price for a while. This blue Starburst Nut Chopper. Uh, this, they have $9.50 on it, which is not bad. Uh, a little bit more than I want to pay for mine. But I'll find one. They're out there. So I've actually been looking for the pitcher to match these glasses. I think these are from the 1970s, if I'm not mistaken. I call them birch, um, like crinkle glass, but... There's a certain name, I think it's Lido Milano, and I can't remember the glass company name off the top of my head who makes them. Uh, they have 85 bucks, you get, I think you get 10 tumblers in the pitcher, so that's about 850 a piece. Kind of expensive for me personally, because I only need the pitcher. I either want it in that like glacier blue, like that lighter colored frosted blue, or this cobalt color, because I collect both. The, those shades. I don't like the amber or the green very much. The blue is where it's at, and blue glass is very desirable. So these are really cool bottles. Uh, they have medicated alcohol, hand lotion, and borax, and there's a lady on it. Uh, they have $40 on the three of them. I don't know if that's a good price or not. 
All right, there's some really neat blue glass up here. I'm really attracted to this shoe here. It's only $5. I love the color of it. This would be so great for Independence Day or Memorial Day, especially with the red and white flowers. So great. She's fantastic too. I actually bought her when I was in Adamstown last. They have her for 50 bucks. Mine actually has a broken finger, and I think I got it for like 12 bucks, which I am very happy with. All right, so I'm in a quiet corner of the store, and I thought maybe you all like to see some of the things that I picked up off camera. I did find a 1963 Screen Stories magazine um, right around the time that Cleopatra was big in the media. So I picked that up. I found this adorable bunny doll. I have no idea on the maker. She's only a dollar, so I went ahead and grabbed her. I don't see any maker's mark or anything on her, but she's definitely got some age, so I'm going to take her with me. And then I found this. I've never heard of Yendi Capucci. Uh, they put $5 on it, so I'm going to risk that. <clears throat> I found this. I found a June Angel with a graduation cap. So that's really cool. Uh, that's made by Art Japan. And I found one of those froggy sponge holders in really good condition. Really well done. This I absolutely love. It's a hanging frog planter with the big eyes. No maker's mark, but I absolutely could not resist it. Alrighty, so I spent a grand total of $49.82 at Boonesboro Antiques today. I just found out that they drastically reduced the size of their mall. Um, it looks like the Goodwill Donation Center for here took over some of the building because they're putting a brewery in. That's what the uh, ladies told me in there. But I still found some great stuff, and funny enough, I actually had cell reception in here, which is a first for me. So since I didn't get very much footage in there, I'm probably going to go ahead and tack on the haul from this shop with me. So I hope you all enjoy it. So let's go ahead and check out what I got. So this you actually didn't see while I was filming, but I did grab another one of these. I was so tickled to find it, because if you remember... The one that I got at one of the indoor flea markets here, I accidentally chipped the lid, and this one is perfect. I was watching just the lid on eBay, and somebody wanted $9 for it, and then 11 to ship it. Now, granted, it was coming from Texas, so that makes sense because it's further down south and had a long distance to go, but I just didn't want to spend that much. So I was happy to find a replacement. So now I can have the other one. And I just, I don't normally go for like a, like this darker avocado green, but I really like the design of it. And I think it's made by Hazel Atlas, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if, I think I shared this when I did the cart shot. This is just a June Angel graduation is coming up. This one was made by Art Mark, I think it just says Art Japan. No cracks, no chips, no repairs anywhere. Just paint loss, and then some of the trim down here is a little bit messed up, but that's, you know, normal wear. This you actually saw me pick up at the very beginning of the shop with me. It is a luster dish, and you've got a flower pot on each side. I got 30% off of it. It is marked Made in Japan on the bottom. This is absolutely adorable. This wide-eyed frog planter and it hangs up. How stinking cute is that? Now this little chip right here I think was done during manufacturing because it is painted over. I just couldn't leave him, he was so adorable. Now I'm not sure if these are still popular, these ceramic project frogs. Normally I steer clear of them, of, or just like of uh, those pieces in general, but I know that people do like these for their scrubsy, scrubsies, their scrubbies or their um, sponges near the sink if you go for a 70s vibe. So I did pick him up. He should be up for grabs at the next sale that I do. 
So I got some more stuff I'd like to share with you all, so just give me one second. And to conclude my shopping trip to the Boonesboro Antique Mall, this is the last of the items that I picked up. So I found these awesome paint by numbers. I, are these even still popular anymore or does it just depend on what it is? You guys know I have a coastal theme and these would fit right in. It's just rocks and water. So those were a really good price. You didn't see me pick those up on camera, but I love them. And you guys know me and my beauty products. Anytime I find a perfume or cologne, any kind of product that is, you know, new or, or well, it's new, that hasn't been used. This is Yendi Capucci Paris Eau de Toilette. Um, I did some research in the store, and like I had mentioned at the end of the Shop With Me portion of this video, I normally never have cell reception in this place, it's so bad, but I was actually able to look some stuff up this time, which was very good because that means I didn't have to spend money and risk it like I normally would. So this actually, one sold for about $130. That one was sealed, but this one is still brand new. It's, the box is just opened and messed up and got water damage on it. But I still listed it for about $130. Um, it is there if you're interested in purchasing it. But it is in my eBay store now if you, were, if you would like it. I couldn't believe this. I usually see these for about like $15, $20. This is a Anchor Hawking Vitrock vase, and it's in pink and white. No cracks or chips. Couldn't believe it. That would look cool with a um, pink glass pedestal, don't you think? And the last thing, actually, no, I'm sorry. There's one other thing that I wasn't able to get up on this table. You guys saw this also in the cart shot. I found a copy of the 1963 Screen Stories magazine. And this was right around the time when Cleopatra was everywhere in the media. Liz and Dick were the big thing of the early 60s with this movie. Became a big phenomenon. I think, what, what studio was this filmed at? I think it was MGM. Yeah, I think originally it was... Um, at Pine Studios in England, and then uh, Liz got sick, was sent into the hospital, and then I think they moved production to Rome, where it was much warmer, and it didn't affect her health as badly. So, they, yeah, it was one big fiasco back in the day. And this is the last item I'd like to share with you all. Again, it was one of those items where I just couldn't believe it was sitting on the shelf. And you guys saw it in the uh, cart shop. I only paid a buck for this. No maker's mark to say who manufactured it. But it's in good shape. I mean, it's a little dirty. But still really, really cute. So that had to definitely come home with me. And folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all from my trip to Boonesboro Antiques. Let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite items from this haul.